Hi, I'm Dr. Fern White. Do you ever get stressed? And what happens to your body when you're stressed? What happens to your face? What happens to your shoulders? What happens to your breath? For most of us when we're stressed, what happens to our physiology or our body is that everything contracts and everything tightens up. Our face tightens up and connected to our face are our masseters and our temporalis muscles and these control our teeth coming together. So many people now suffer from something which they call TMD, which is temporomandibular joint dysfunction. But believe it or not, it's actually not the joint that's dysfunctional, it's actually the headaches that are caused by clenching. And it's no wonder because we live in this society where we're going, going, going. It's a society of achievement all the time. We're rewarded for our achievements and all the things that we have to do. And we have this never ending list of to do things that never ever finish. We live in a world where we're constantly operating at this sympathetic nervous system. And what that is, is it's part of our body that is responsible for our fight or flight. And that was all very well when we were in the dark ages and some huge dinosaur, or maybe not a dinosaur, but some huge animals started to come towards us and we had to tap into that and run and flight, otherwise we'd be eaten. But nowadays, we have that primitive brain ingrained in us and that kicks start just at a hint of stress. So someone honks the horn behind you, you're stuck in traffic, all of these things accumulate throughout our body and we never get to slow down. So what does this have to do with the teeth? Well, when we're at this flight or fight response all the time and we're not in a state where we relax and let go, what happens is that we contract and we contract all of our muscles, our shoulders, neck, jaw joints, everything. And think about contracting muscles. If you've ever gone to the gym and done some bicep curls and started contracting them, think about what would happen if you kept on contracting them all the time. It would fatigue. 95% of headaches and migraines in the face and head are actually from muscle contraction. So if you're getting headaches and migraines, have loads of water, but rethink, are your muscles tight? And chances are they probably are. Now the damage that that can be doing also to teeth, I see so many teeth worn down, particularly in the younger generation now, not just the older generation just wear of teeth slowly slowly and little crack forming in the teeth and if that happens well one day you don't even realize but it's like a crack in a windscreen it explodes and the tooth crumbles and that's when you see a dentist for some emergency work so what can you do to help this what can we do to relieve this well, I, my favorite thing to come back to is breathing. Watch where your breathing is. As soon as you take a big breath and you exhale, everything drops. And it's all about, it's not about relaxing. It's about just letting go. So by not contracting, we are actually in a state of letting go. So all of these guys, we can let go and just watch and see if your teeth are together. And if they are, probably chances are these guys are all together as well. So let your teeth be separated slightly, a couple of millimetres apart. And I'd like to say something like Emma. And when I say the Emma, the teeth are a little bit apart. So that relaxes this area here. Now, if you're suffering from particular sore headaches and you're reaching out to get the Panadol, think first, am I contracting? Am I doing something? Because our body contracts all the time, but in a state of, in a state of that type of flexing all the time, it's going to fatigue and be painful. So separate your jaw, maybe even if it's really, really sore, put some warm heat pack there and, and if it's inflamed, a cool gel on these muscles. Treat it like a muscle problem. And then you can do some massage, okay? So one of them is you little pinpoint massages into the muscle belly and you can start to release some of the knots. But another really good one is just fascial release. So what happens is instead of going deep, moving up and releasing, what the fascia is is that layer underneath the skin and above the muscle. Just separating that all the way up and behind here. 
because the muscles that are responsible for pain or opening and closing is the temporalis, masseters, and underneath here, the pterygoids. And then when you come into the clinic, we can have a look at internal manipulation as well and get into the pterygoids. If it's really bad, of course, some of my clients, I don't like using drugs, but some of my clients really need some muscle relaxant injected into these muscles, and that's what we put Botox in. But that's for people who are constantly in so much pain they can't function anymore. That's a last resort for me. And that, for me, just stops the pain cycle until we do something differently. So let's go back to the causes of what's causing the problem. And usually the causes are things like the way you deal with life. How can you stop? How can you relax? How can we get back into a healing phase as well and give us balance? What needs to change in your life? Yoga, more yoga, meditation, more alternative things as opposed to just grind, 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 achieve all the time. Now, one other thing that I do at the clinic is we can protect the teeth from all those cracks. So something like a night guard or splint therapy is incredible. And we hold on to that for as long as the teeth don't change shape. So we put the splint in indefinitely. Unless, of course, you've got such high levels of stress that you actually <clears throat> crack the splint as well. So I hope this has been helpful for you. And I hope that something shifts in your life so that that doesn't hurt anymore. But remember, our body is so intuitive. When it gives us symbols of pain, it's telling us that something needs to change. Something is so damaged because we heal, 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 heal without even knowing. Our body does all these miraculous things. But pain is the last resort that you need to do something differently. Otherwise, something dramatic will happen. I look forward to seeing you soon.